Village, which is a Toxapex team with their Riolo, which looks a lot of fun. Okay, and it's got a Snorlax. And it's got a Ferrothorn, the Clefable. Okay, this looks cool. Kind of reminds me heavily of a singles team, but we'll see what we can do. <laughs> well, what do you mean, Toxapex team? Well, it's got Toxapex on it, hasn't it? That's I'm sure that's what it's called. I could be a... Uh, and it, yeah, Toxapex, look. What do we got on it? A claw, copycat. I think this is a single stick. No, it might not. No, it's definitely not. It could be. I don't know. It might not be. No. What item have we got on here? Let me figgy. Okay. What item have we got on you? So we've got... Oh, it's a copycat trick room team. Of course, of course. This reminds me. Where's our trick room then? Shandy. Okay, this is perfect. Um, hmm. Right, you complicates things with a fake out. Um, I do want to get Shandy in now. I... If we can get a trick room, up, that would be good. But we might need to stall out a few things first. Um, okay, let's bring Clefable. And let's bring Rio. I think. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's bring Rio, Shandy, and Snorl, and Toxapex. Let's do that. Okay, let's go for that. Been such a long time since I've seen Toxapex. Like I always say Toxapex when I play like singles or like OU singles. And uh never outside of that, ever. But I always think of it in doubles, I always think it could probably do some work. It's a cool it is such a tank of a Pokemon, but yeah. Sawtooth, how are you doing? I'm doing good, dude. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for hopping and joining us tonight. Um Is this the water or the dark? Let me see, I didn't see your fist. The dark one. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we'll try and get a calm mind up. Oh, we can quick guard. Okay, that's pretty nice. That's actually really nice. Okay, I really like this. Okay, this is good. Okay, we'll do this. We're going to take a wicked blow for our troubles into uh, our close combat into Rioli, but it's got. Plus, it's got the sash, so we're fine. We'll, we'll deal with this fake out from Raichu. That's ideal. I love that. Okay. Wicked Blow. It's fine. I mean, we resist with both. But Riolu going to do that. And we're going to Calm Mind up, which is perfect. I'm just having this really bad thought of being like, I want to... Uh, I want to max Clefable right now after the Calm Mind boost. Because I think we can like really stomp on like so many things here. Um, let me just see what options we've got on the URI. Holy cats. Worth. Shadow Claw. Good double into. Let's go, Starfall. And go for that as well. Let's try this. Skipper, you know by the pauses that what type is Urshifu. Yeah, dude. I'm kind of trying to look after, uh, at the... Um, I try and look at the fists. Because one's got open fists, one's got closed fists. Chat have done a good job of educating me on the, uh, the Urshifu. I always appreciate the uh, educational talks I get on which... Which type Oshifu is? Now you can tell. Getting there though. I'm 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 learning. I'm learning. But thank you so much. Right, Duraludon hitting the field. We're gonna see a cheeky old nuzzle. Just a Volt Switch. Gonna try and get rid of our Riolu. How rude, rude. But Riolu done a good job. I have a Riolu on my Sharpedo team for both Copycat and Coaching. It's nice. It's a nice option for sure. You could have Copycat Wicked Blow, or we could have. Oh damn. Oh, 
I forget that the, you see copycat such a cool move and I always forget about how it works and some of the things that it can actually do. Some nice damage into Duraludon for sure. Um, and we get our terrain up. I think Duraludon's probably going to max. But we can get Shandy in, I think. Um, we can probably get a Trick Room up as well. I think Trick Room here is really good. If we can get it up. you got to hope that the Duraludon goes... I mean, what speed are we with Chandelier? That makes, that makes a big, big, big decision here for us. I mean, they're probably going to... Okay, yeah. We need to Trick Room. We need to Trick Room. Um... Let's go after Duraludon again, and yeah, let's go for the Trick Room. Let's try and get it up. Okay, this looks this looks promising. This looks very promising. Raichu gonna come in, unless they taunt Chandler. Now they they're going for the BB. Okay, perfect. It's ideal. They can't fake us out or anything this next turn. Raichu gone down, and we're nice. We're in a perfect position now. <laughs> oh this is this is beautiful when you can max a clefable I do love clefable as well it's such a cool pokemon who doesn't love clefable though i mean max clefable max wigglytuff uh all the good stuff um hmm maybe just heat wave and probably starfall is enough to even get talonflame i mean heat wave will definitely be enough to get well it'll be enough chip i think that's right, right. You, you go for that. You go for that helping hand. Heat wave. And we hit. Perfect. That's all we needed. And I think Starfall will definitely be enough. We are plus one. So. <laughs> Cameron's like, why is this team working? It's just, it just is, dude. It's just that good. Just, it's so legit. We couldn't actually. It was too good for us to see. <laughs> Honestly, it's really good. I love it. I love it. We're gonna have two two straight victories with it, I promise you. Okay, Urshi coming in. You've gotta contend with uh, Sucker Punch, of course, which is not great. Um, but uh, what have we got in the back? We've got Toxapex in the back. It's fine. Uh, we just go after Duraludon. Have we got like anything like I mean we got Protect, which isn't bad. Uh, and we could protect because they're definitely going to suck a punch or is it worth just attacking because I think we probably get Duraludon even if it maxes anyway or could we switch to Toxapex what's Tox got? Mm, it's got mm. Not really got the options we need. I think we'll just protect here because they're gonna suck a punch. I think they have to suck a punch, to be honest. Unless they max Urshifu. Are they maxing Urshifu? Like Pex is just so close to win. It's gonna win, dude. You can feel it. It's gonna work. Okay, Duraludon we need to get. We are plus one, it's gonna be close. Duraludon mm, depends if it's A V or not. I don't know if it is by the damage we did earlier. We just need this Urshifu to be Sucker Punch, which you would imagine. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, can we get plus one? Oh, it's so close. It is so close. Can we take this? I don't think we can. Clefable! <laughs> Coming through. And we got the berry, so we're going to be able to do this. This is magical. Okay, this is perfect. There we go. If that's banded Urshifu as well, that's that's beautiful. How many turns of Trick Room have we got left? Two. More than enough. They can only max guard so many times. Uh, let's switch into Toxapex. Let's see if they've got that Sucker Punch. Protect doesn't work against Urshifu. Might as well go for the Heat Wave. Now, it, yeah, you're right. It doesn't work against Urshifu. But Sucker Punch relies on you attacking. Um, so with Chandler not attacking that turn, it means that the Sucker Punch will always fail. So that's why we kind of went for it. Uh, we get rid of the Duraludon, which is ideal. We've got one turn of Trick Room left. And we're in a, a magical, magical, beautiful Disney 
Pokemon Wonderland with Clefable and Toxapex. Okay, well, we'll go for a Moonlight here because that is what we do. And we'll go for a Toxic. Here we go, friends. And they have a full health Urshifu, but Frankie doesn't want to play on. Toxapex, Clefable getting the win. <laughs> okay, we just need one more. And it's a clean sweep. Undefeated, it's Clefable, Toxapex team. There we go. Imagine if Toxapex Clefable gets us to Master Bolt here. <laughs> Will he saw Toxapex insta forfeit? He's like, I'm not playing this anymore. Team's great. Team is great. I love it. I love it. We're gonna win again now. Watch, watch. We'll do it with Clefable again. Okay, we got uh, Arcanine, Doug Trio, Hot Dogs on a Hill, uh, Primarina, Gothitelle, Lapras, and Amoongus. And Pacero95, thank you so much for the follow. Thanks for joining us tonight. Master Bolt here in sight. Doug Trio is here. Uh, we've got to be careful because there's double trap here. There's, this is a perish trap team for sure. Uh, Primarina, Lapras, going to try and perish everything and trap us and kick our big butts that way. Um, okay. Oh, Shandy's quite good to get around the trap and aspects. The only issue is there's two water types there that don't give us the best of times. Um, what's our best route going to be at dealing with this? Okay, let's go Shandy. Let's assess these situations first. Hmm. Maybe. And we need just big hitters. That's the way to do it against these sort of teams. Um, let's go Toxapex. Big hit as he says. Let's go Ferrothorn. I think we'll have to bench Clefable for this one. I think we need a bit more firepower here. Uh, and I think I need that combination between Chandelier and, and Ferrothorn to get around the, the, the Arcanine and the water types. And you know, that way it gives us a bit of good synergy there. Um, and try and get rid of the Gothitelle first because then the trap's gone. I don't think the uh, Doug Trio is going to be too much of an issue. Uh, but we'll see. Gonna have Sash though, 100%. Okay. Well, there is a trap on the field. It does threaten Toxapex as well. Um. Okay. Well, we can switch. I think hmm, it's it's awkward switching for Ferrothorn because then as soon as we do that, we kind of open ourselves up to an Arcanine switching in, which would which is never good. Uh, but I mean, with Toxapex on the field. Kind of not in the worst spot. I mean, is it going to be better to get Snorlax in? Uh, and then we can max and just start going for some max strikes. Keep Shandy for the end. Mm, let's go for Snorlax here. Let's do that. Yeah, we've got one more month of Series 6. Um, and then Series 7 starts with all the Crown Tundra stuff. Well, we didn't time out, did we? No. Oh, I did time out. What am I doing? I'm going to Perish Song. I don't know what I went for. Okay, they. well, this, this, it doesn't matter. Have we... <laughs> Literally... <laughs> oh my god, and we get the burn as well. There you go. That's what you get for ally switching. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe we just did that. Uh, that's actually nuts. Um, Alright. This is where Toxapex, I'm telling you. You don't even need to You don't even need to select a move with Toxapex and it knows what you, what to do. It knows what to do. Um, I mean, what we're going to do is go for the body body slam there. And um, we'll go for a bin for Bunker. Because we haven't seen the Perish just yet. The tree are going to protect. That's fine. <laughs> the car just with the ways we'd be ally switch. Yeah, hundred percent. Now this is where things get very tricky because um, we just haven't got the firepower to to cut through the team. Yeah. <sighs> 
now they max and get their Aurora Veil up. And we don't have a way to switch out. What have we got in the back? Okay, Chandelier Ferrothorn. It's not the worst, especially if they haven't brought the Arcanine. Uh, I'm not going to max. I think I don't think we max at all here. We just body slam. Um, I mean, we could toxic, but it's not really going to do us any good. Uh, we may as well just scald, I think. Let's cover the ally switch just in case they go for it again. Okay, they're not going to. They're just going to protect Lapras, which is fine. So we should get the Doug Tree. It's going to... Oh, God. Oh, God. It's going to dig. Dig. Ah. Oh. Mm, the thing is, Doug Trio goes down this next turn. I mean, they, then they have to bring in Gothitelle. Uh, okay. I mean, Toxapex is going to just go down anyway. We may as well get the Toxic onto the Lapras. Okay, Lapras switching out, resetting the yeah Gothitelle coming in. Okay. I mean, if we can get rid of both of their... I would have thought that would have went into the Toxapex, to be honest. Um, if we can get rid of both of their trappers, that makes things a lot easier um, to get around the Perish team. See how much this does. Not quite enough, and I think I don't think we got enough turns to get rid of all of these Pokemon. Because Lapras probably comes back in now. Um, just protect. We got protect fake out. Yeah, and then that's both Snorlax and Toxapex gone. The dig stall. The dig stall is real. And Law... Law Tech... Uh, I can't even read. The Rod. Law Tech Rod? How are you doing? This is your first stream. Thanks so much for coming by, dude. Uh, it's great to have you here tonight, and I'm really sorry if I'm butchering your name, but I hope you enjoy the stream. I'm just in the middle of, like, it's probably the worst time to come in. I'm, like, mind, brain dead from this Perish t team trying to think of a way to get around it. But, like, they're just going to double protect now. There's not really too much I can do to get around it, um, unless... It's always worth doing this, see if we can switch out, but uh, I don't think, yeah, we can't switch out. You never know, the Goth Tell might not always be uh, Shadow Tag. We'll go for the Goth, I mean, they're both going to protect. Or we could see a Fake Out Protect, I don't think, we'll, we'll probably just double protect here. I mean, if we can get rid of the Goth Tell, that's a huge bonus for us. I doubt we will be able to, though. No, no. You never know, sometimes, I've played games before where you just assume that it's always Shadow Tag. You know, it's mainly on ladder where you're getting trolled, but it's always worth it, you know, in these situations. They try and you'd be like, oh my god, we just stayed in for no reason. Okay, so we're going to lose Snorlax and we're going to lose Toxapex now. Um, it all really comes down to, I mean, Chandelier will be able to get the Gothitelle this next turn. And huh, just whether or not they actually go for. It's the Perish that we need to stop. Okay, and I think we need to read an ally switch this next turn. So I think we need to double. Yeah, they've got to go for the perish. And I think they have to. Uh, yeah, I think we've got to double the Lapras slot, but not double the Lapras slot, double the Gothitel slot. If that makes sense. Because I think they're going to ally switch. And we need to remove the Lapras from the field. I mean, Chandelier is probably not going to be able to remove it anyway. But. Because it's going to get his Perish off before Ferrothorn can move. But if not, we'll get rid of the Gothitelle. And then we got three turns to potentially take down. Maybe a Primarina. I don't know if we'll be able to do that. We'll see. Okay, well, we get the ally switch call, right? So there, there we go. Yeah, okay, well, it outspeeds everything. So. We just need to hope that the power... The power up should get the Lapras. 
it's just about trying to power through these last few Pokemon because if we can get rid of whatever the partner is to Gothitelle, it means that we win the game because uh, Ferrothorn... Oh, man. Okay. That's not ideal. Unless we do... Oh, my God. It's so close. Okay, Max Phantasm will get it. And the poison's actually going to take the Gothitelle down before the Perish ends anyway. So they may need to switch that out. Okay. Um, Phantasm again. Um, and we'll go Gyro. Uh, no, I'll go Power Whip because they may want to switch the Gothitelle out into like Primarina or something. And if we can catch that, potentially, that would be good. Okay, well, we're going to get the Lapras here. I don't think we've got enough turns to like actually get rid of the partner in Pokemon to Gothitelle though. That's the problem, I think. I think we just still lose. Yeah, and they still got their Dynamax, which is the worst. Unless they decide not to Dynamax. It depends what this last Pokemon is. Right, but Goth. It's got I think Gothitelle's got like two turns left with the toxic tick. So we'll see what that does. Right. Yeah, we'll go down the following turn. We've got two turns. Two turns to get rid of one Pokemon. Depends what it is. It's going to be Primarina, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I mean, if we can get the Phantasm into it, drop its defense, maybe Power Whip would be enough to get it. Now, it's whether or not we call the ally switch here. Orthodel just protected. I don't think they go for the ally switch because we kind of called it last time, you know. I'm not going to go for it this time. I think we just go for the Primarina here. Okay, it's going to max. Let's hope they don't ally switch. Goonie, I hate Parish Song teams. They're nasty when you haven't got like the offense to kind of break through them. It, it's very difficult. Like, you need big, big hitters. Um... Charizard PZ, like Primarina is good as well. Um, you know, you need like you need to be doing a lot. Went for the ally switch. Are you kidding? Okay, well, I guess it's got nothing else to go for. Max Overgrow. Okay, this is actually nuts because now they're setting up the terrain, the grassy terrain. They're gonna have minus one defense. Can Ferrothorn pick up a knockout into Primarina? we've got one more turn after this potentially but they just max guard and win <laughs> unless we can take i don't think we take down a primarina from full health max even in grassy terrain we do come on come on <laughs> we do it fam we do it we do it that's what you get <laughs> clefable toxapex comes through again Oh my god, yes. <laughs> that was epic. Good game to my opponent. Come on. <laughs> okay, didn't expect that to take it down. Ferrothorn is the king. Okay, that was amazing. That was amazing. Whew. Okay, that was a, that was like a hype, hypest moment. Okay.